Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to take y'all outside around my new neighborhood here in Luoyang, China. And I wanna share with y'all some of the things that, well, I guess my thoughts or feelings about the difference between living here in the northern part of China versus living in the southern part of China. Cause I lived, you know, in the south of China, Guangdong province, more specific, for uh, about 15 years. And so now, I'm actually I'm more in central China, I guess, but I'm above the line like that separates the south from the north. So I am in the northern part of China, but um, it's technically it's more central China, as you can see like on the, on the map. But um, anyway, I'm just here at home putting my shoes on right now. So I'm about to head outside and show y'all around the neighborhood. And uh, so yeah, let me get my shoes on real quick. Okay, uh, also I'll show you this real quick because I'm not gonna walk this direction, but um, I'll show y'all just something because I'm gonna go a different way, I guess. But um, let me turn this around. I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be, but if you look here, so you can see down there, this building here, see the blue signs there on the front? That's a supermarket. So when I wanna go to the supermarket, I just go downstairs and walk across the street and I'm at the supermarket. It takes like one or two minutes to walk there. So I'm very close to the supermarket. And then if you look over here, this is kind of the downtown area. I live in downtown, the downtown district. So I'm kind of right in the central of everything. So just over here, these big houses over there, you see in the distance, just on the other side of that, there's like a couple of big shopping malls and uh, things like that over there. So lots of, wait. Lots of stuff around over, around this area that you can actually walk to really easily and really quickly if you want to. Or, um, which I used, prefer to drive an e-bike. But um, yeah, they love the e-bikes here in, in this area. Um, we'll get more into that later though. But um, yeah, let's go outside and have a look and I'll show y'all around the neighborhood. So it's time to go. Oh, let me grab my key first. Oh, I need my house key. Uh, let's see. All right, so now we can go. Let's go check it out. All right, so here I am in basically the lobby of my building. I'm just kind of hanging out here, but they have like some, like a little sofa thing here you can hang out on. But uh, anyway, it's like a couple of them laying around. But here, let's go outside and have a look. So if we go this way, Here's another little place to sit down, have a little rest, a little playground for kids, whatever to play on. Then you have a ping pong table. There's another over there, it's the same thing on this side. But uh, let's go have a look. So here outside, you can see you just have like a little area here. This gate doesn't work, or it doesn't open, so they keep this closed all the time. And then this right here is a water machine to give water. So this building, actually this community is quite large. It's brand new, but there's a, it's my face all dark. But, uh, this building's kind of isolated from the rest. So here at the entrance, you can see this is a place to where everybody parks their e-bikes. And, you know, has all the charging stations on the wall to charge the bikes. Yep. So, let's go outside. This little dog follow me. So 
So here we are inside the community. All this here is still part of the same community, but all these buildings are all in together. And mine is the only one that's isolated from the rest. But anyway, if you look over here, I'll show y'all just two. So here's a place to park the e-bikes and to charge the bikes. And I got a new one, actually. This is mine right here. This new one right here. Just charging right now. You can see it just plug it in right there. Charge it up. But anyway, let's go this way. So you can see all this stuff is new. Like none of these shops are really open. This one's open and there's like a little shop there to buy some snacks and stuff. And a laundry mat. And then on this side, all this is brand new. So you can see here all this shops is not even open yet because they just built this. So the only thing open here is a real estate agent across the street. And then uh, I'm not sure what this is over here. It's like an education place. And up here, there's like a little kindergarten down the street here too. This over here, this isn't part of my community. This is a different one, but this one's much older. So anyway, I talked to y'all a little bit about some of the differences that I've seen from living here in the northern part of China compared to living in the southern part. So uh, yeah, there's a few differences that I've seen so far. I mean, nothing major, but there's definitely differences. But let me show you this real quick. So, so right here, this is the street. I told y'all the supermarket's just right there. So just one or two minutes walk in at the supermarket. What's going on here? They trimming the trees or something here. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, the, when it comes to the differences, there's definitely some differences. Uh, actually here in China, you know, I've lived in the South China for so long, especially in Guangdong. And a lot of people in Southern China, they don't particularly say nice things about the people in the North of China. And, I've heard vice versa, but I'm not sure. I don't really know any people here in the north. Like I don't really have any friends here. So I'll have to make some friends and find out for myself what they think. I don't want to speculate. But um, here, look at this. Here's an old, an old kindergarten right here. A really old kindergarten. But I think it's still open. Well, it's not open now, but I mean, it's a summer holiday. But I think they have students here. But anyway, when it comes to to the differences. Like I said, I've definitely noticed some differences. Um, right now it's summertime, but as far as the weather goes, it's really hot here, the same as it is in Guangdong, I guess, like, you know, really hot, really humid. But they do have winter here, so we'll see what happens in the winter time, how much I like it. But um, so far, it's been okay. I quite like the city, you know, most of the people have been pretty friendly. Um, I haven't really had any, haven't had any bad experiences really. No. When it comes to some of the differences though, man, they love their e-bikes here. There's so much more uh, e-bike traffic compared to Guangdong. Like in Guangdong, there's not as much e-bike traffic. And there, I feel actually it's not as, uh, the, the area for driving e-bike there, the infrastructure is lacking compared to here. Here in Henan, the infrastructure for uh, e-bikes is actually really, really good. They have like huge lanes and they're kind of like uh, separate from the main road and the the, um, the lanes for driving the bikes are really big and they even have like traffic signals specifically for e-bikes. It's like the, they have like the little bicycle on the light that tells you if you can go or not go. But a lot of people here, um, they do drive kind of crazy. So when it comes to that, like they really, like in Guangdong on um, driving the e-bikes, they seem to drive a little more cautious, a little more careful. And here they drive a little bit reckless. Like, they just kind of do what they want. I see them go through the red lights all the time. I've, actually, I've seen e-bike crashes at least one or two every single day since I've been here for the past, what, two weeks now, three weeks? How, no, two, eh, about three weeks now. But I've seen at least one or two crashes every single day, minimum. <laughs> It's, uh, they're not very good at driving here when it comes to that compared to Guangdong like you know the whole time I was there I very rarely see those type of things so let me show you how this here so here if you look around here 
this little area here, it's uh, lots of shops here, lots of restaurants and stuff. And at nighttime, it's very busy. Lots of people come out here to eat barbecue and they come out here to eat barbecue and that kind of thing all the time. Uh, it's quite busy at nighttime and the food's pretty good. But um, I have to come over here at nighttime and get something to eat and share that with y'all. So anyway, um, what was that? Oh yeah, about the e-bikes. Yeah, they drive kind of crazy here compared to uh, in Guangdong. You see lots of crashes all the time. So it's kind of, you just have to be really, be really careful about uh, driving here and be really cautious. And like myself, I just kind of make sure I follow all the rules to do what I'm supposed to do just to make sure that I avoid any type of accident or something like that. Um, you know, I know they say when in Rome, do as the Romans do, but yeah, I'm not really going to do anything <laughs> illegal, like going through traffic lights when they red and this kind of thing like they do, just because uh, the safety factor, not really because of the legality of it, but because of the safety factor, because this, you know, the laws are in place for reasons. They're there to protect some of the people and things like that. So, you know, you have to kind of pay attention to those things. But um, let me show you around again. So if you look here, like I said, this is a, uh, this is an older community. This one's been here for a long time. And then uh, this one over here is the new one. So anyway, let's go for a walk down the road here. If you walk down this, this way that I'm going now, actually there's a big train station right in front of me. You can't see it yet, but there's a train station and a subway station up here, a metro station. Anyway, there's not much here for you to see right now because I'm actually like kind of like I guess right on the edge of downtown like this is the the central the CBD the central business district or whatever of, of Luoyang but um, I'm kind of on the on the very edge of it so like the train station is here that goes to lots of other cities subway station is here that goes closer to all the stuff which I haven't been on the subway yet so I'm not sure how how good it is but um, when it comes to restaurant stuff here there's like a lot of smaller restaurants around this area but if I actually the direction I'm going now if I just go this way and then turn right and walk for about five or ten minutes then I'm right in the middle of like where lots of restaurants and all kind of stuff are but this part right here it's mostly just kind of like small uh, you know like family-owned restaurants and when it comes to the restaurants here I actually quite like the food here um, in Guangdong, you know, it's going, especially where I was at, it's right next to the sea and they have a lot of seafood and I don't really eat seafood. <laughs> you know, where I'm from, we don't really eat seafood either, really, for the most part. You know, my hometown, it's mostly like beef and chicken and pork. And uh, here, it's mostly beef and lamb. Like everywhere you go here, uh, they have like beef, like beef soup or beef noodle soup, like beef is everywhere. And beef is probably my favorite thing to eat. So for me, the food is great <laughs> um, and it's actually really cheap. Uh, you know, you can get like the, the low, some of the local dishes, they're about, uh, I don't know, about a dollar fifty to two dollars for like the normal like local beef, beef soup or something like that, or the beef noodle soup. It's about a dollar fifty, two dollars at most of the family owned restaurants. So <laughs> with the, the, the food quality and the food taste for the price is really, really good. I can't complain about that at all. Um, a lot of the places like that I just walk by, I just smell the food cooking. It's like, it smells so good and I, I get hungry because of the smell. Actually, I can smell it right now. There's some places across the street over there and some places around the corner too and I can, I can literally smell the food from here. So uh, it's pretty cool that the food is actually food that I really like to eat a lot and very affordable. So can't complain about that. There's a little shop here, what's this? It's a little bit noisy here, so we're getting closer to the train station. There's a lot more traffic here. So you can look up here. 
uh, you see here we are at a big busy intersection here and uh, actually I haven't been this way yet I'm not sure what's down there but I know if you see going straight a couple minutes you're at the big train station if we go this way then this kind of goes around the block back to my house my house is back there in the background you can see oh. I'll just take you all around the block so that y'all see the neighborhood uh, what was I forgot what I was talking about oh yeah when it comes to the difference in the people um, it's definitely different when it comes to people and well it's so so messy here what the hell Oh man, I had to go home and clean my shoes. I just stepped in some uh, some mud or something, like a big muddy area. They're doing some construction here, so. Anyway, when it comes to the, the people here, the culture is definitely different, and the people are very different. Um, how do I put this? I think the people seem a little less, um, a little less civilized or lacking in manners compared to Guangdong but for me like I don't see that as a problem like I don't mind that actually actually I kind of like it so uh, you know I like can around here like everywhere you go you see like uh, people also older, especially older people you know they always go around um, how to say like with their uh, shirt off or something like that like you'll see a lot of old men walking around not wearing their shirt which uh you know obviously old men don't have the nicest body in the world to be showing off their body like that they go around you know just <laughs> without the clothes on and stuff like that which for me i don't i don't really care like we do that kind of thing where i'm from to be honest with you and um but in guangdong you don't really see that as much so you know i guess people would say that it's a little bit less civilized here for silly things like that but for me, I don't really care about that kind of thing. But um, another thing a lot of people like to complain about is like, you know, people uh, spitting on the sidewalk and this kind of stuff. You know, they say this like uncivilized behavior. And again, that's one of the things that I don't really care about. Like, it doesn't bother me, but it really bothers some people. Some people hate that and they, I hear them complain about it all the time. But for me, I don't care. Like, uh, I, actually, I have used to have a bad habit of spitting all the time myself because I used to play baseball and you know baseball players typ typically uh, tend to like spit all the time for some reason I don't know just like a, a bad thing that I guess a bad habit I picked up but uh, so for me that's kind of thing don't bother me so when it comes to the the so-called uncivilized behavior it's nothing that uh, that gets under my skin or disturbs me or makes me think any different about people here compared to the people in the south so yeah, no, no complaints for me on that side of things. Um, when it comes to, I guess you could say one of the really, one of the really good things. Hold on, let me get across the street before I get ran over. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, one of the one of the really good things I, th I guess will be that people here seem to be very friendly um like one of the things the differences that i noticed like being in guangdong uh it's like everywhere i go you know i go to eat or go to this place or go to that place even on my on my e-bike or in the car i'm just sitting at traffic light people would just like stare like stare at you in like kind of like a how to say like in a, more of a rude way like kind of have like a dirty look on their face like they're looking at you like I don't know, they, I can't read people's minds, so I don't want to guess what they're saying or what they're thinking, but they just look like they're not happy to, to, to see me, you know? And, but here, I feel quite opposite. Like people, when they, like I will catch people, will see people like looking at me or even staring at me, but they don't, they don't just like look at you. They'll actually say something. They'll be like, you know, hi or hello or something. They'll like say, they'll smile at you and say something friendly instead of just like looking at you and not saying anything. So I actually prefer that, you know, if I'm, if you're just going to like stare at me like I'm crazy, then, you know, if you at least smile and say hello, then, you know, it's, it's okay. You know, I, I'll say hi back to you. I've actually had several encounters with people on a daily basis, just walking around 
or uh, you know, ride my e-bike or something like that. I'd be at a traffic light and people would just pull up next to you and they'd look at you and they'd be like, hey, you know, <laughs> what's up or where you come from and blah, blah, blah. And I've had several, um, just several conversations with random people just because people were friendly and nice and, and initiated a conversation instead of just, you know, looking at me like I'm crazy. So for me, hopefully you can hear me, it's noisy right there. So anyway, for me overall, I feel the people are quite friendly. And uh, so far, my experience has been pretty good. I quite like the people here. So um, definitely no complaints when it comes to that. I'll show you around a little bit here. So this street right here, there's lots of uh, little shops and restaurants here on the other side of the street. And uh, I forgot to show you around. I got busy talking. There's a hotel right there. There's an old, like a really older community here. We yeah, have this, this downtown area is quite old. It's like an older area. So um, some things are inconvenient here, like when it comes to parking the car and this kind of stuff, you know, um, it's quite crowded here compared to the newer districts, but I don't mind. It's okay. Um, as long as the people are friendly, then, you know, that's all good. So like I said, I'm quite happy with so far, you know, people seem to be quite friendly and talkative or they at least smile and say hello. So. Uh, this is definitely a good thing compared to what I got used to where I was at. Now, I'm not saying everybody <laughs> where I was at were not good, but you can definitely feel the change. Because when I was there, when I first was there, and for several, several years, it was really great. And then just over time, it seemed to, to deteriorate, especially during the COVID time. People just seemed to start having a different attitude. And after the COVID thing, whole thing was over, people seem to keep that bad attitude. <laughs> but here it is, nah, I'm okay, I feel pretty good. So definitely no complaints. Let me show y'all around some more. It's actually been raining uh, the past few days. So uh, the weather hasn't been as bad, but it's been a little quite, it's been a little bit hot, but not too bad. Anyway, we're gonna go down this road. This road actually goes to my house. See all this here is, they're gonna add on to the community where I live actually. Uh, some of these older buildings here, as you can see in the, in the background, like, like this one right in front of us here, they're about to tear that thing down. And all this is going to be developed into uh, like this community here. This is part of my community, the big one, not the old one here. Let me get out of the road. I'm still mad about these shoes, man. I got to go back and go home and clean these shoes up. Anyway, uh, I should have watched where I was going. It's my fault. But um, yeah, so far I'm liking it here okay, not bad. What's up with my camera, man? My camera acting crazy. So yeah, that's one of the things I want to talk to y'all about actually. Um, when it comes to filming here, like since it's been raining a lot, I didn't really get a chance to get out and film that much. Sorry, my camera's crazy. I can't get a good angle. There we go, it's better. Um, it's because it's been raining a lot here. I didn't really get to get out and film very much because this camera that I have, I actually love this camera, this DJI Pocket 3 is what I'm filming this on. This camera's great, but um, it lacks some functionality. So like, I think it's really good for like, just like you said, just holding in your hand, walking around talking or something like that. But when it comes to doing certain things or certain times, it's really not convenient because this camera is not waterproof. So like it can't even get rained on really. It's not supposed to be wet. And so um, because it's been raining so much, I haven't been able to get out and film because my camera isn't functional in, in the rain. So I was thinking about switching to a different camera or we'll get another camera, like a backup camera, but one that I can use in the rain. And so I've been looking at some and I think I've decided which one I want to get, but I haven't bought it yet. So maybe I'll do that today. I was looking for some shops, but I couldn't hardly find any, so I might have to buy it online. And there's a cat. 
Hey. Oh, you can't see him. Oh, there he is. Anyway. So this here is also part of my community, but you can see all the shops aren't open yet. And it's just because they are, uh, they're all brand new. So this is, like I said, a brand new building. You can see some of these houses are brand new. They're not even been open yet or no construction is taking place. No construction is taking place yet. They haven't been decorated or remodeled. They're just kind of concrete shells waiting to be decorated or, or bought. They might not even been sold yet. I don't know. But um, yeah. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with the place so far because it's brand new. Like I said I'm the first one who lived in this apartment and this whole community is brand new. And it's like five minutes from where all the good stuff is. So I just hop on my e-bike and drive for five minutes and I'm like right in the middle of all the shopping and eating and all that good stuff. Bars, restaurants, everything within five minutes drive on the e-bike or about a 10 minute walk. So super, super convenient. Oh, here you can see this like a little park here. And my house is actually behind this park on the other side. It's just like a little uh, simple little park. It's got a little walking place and some places to sit down and re relax. And I think there's a basketball court too. And these white poles you see, these are like lights. So at nighttime it's lit up. It's quite nice at nighttime. You can see some little uh, greenery and stuff around. People come here and walk their dogs and stuff. You see all this here, all these houses here is part of my community, but I don't live inside of there. I live on this side, this one single isolated building. So uh, I'm on the opposite side. And there's not gonna build any more on this side either because there's a, a school back there so there's not going to build any more there. They're going to start right here on this side and then build all the way around this whole curve. This building here is about to come down and they're going to build all the way down the road we just walked down. If you look over here, part of this park, see there's a basketball court over there. I have, I've never walked in this park. I guess I can walk around and see what's going on inside of here. And I'll take you out with me. Sounds like somebody's playing basketball. So, yeah, not much here. Just a little walking trail and basketball court. You can see just like a little walking trail. It just goes back there. There's a wall back there, so it doesn't go any further. It just goes back there and then circles back around to this side. So we'll go this way. So uh, yeah, not really much to say. Just wanted to share with y'all a little bit about this area that I'm living in and we you know what I think so far. And uh, yeah, so anyway, so far, so far so good. Uh, friendly people, good food, cheap food. Cost of living seems cheap. I guess the main concern is just the safety factor when it comes to driving because the people drive kind of crazy, but other than that, it's okay. You just got to be careful when you're driving and take your time, go slow and follow the rules and everything will be all right. But um, I'm not working until September. So, uh, you know, I've, I've been off since June the 28th until now or until September the 1st. So I've got a long, long break, but I can't go anywhere because I have to, you know, when I'm changing, changing cities and changing jobs, stuff like that here in China, my my green card expire so i have to apply for you know a new green card and uh all this legal stuff that you need to do to live here and work here legally you have to go through the whole process again so um all my documents have like submitted to the government so i'm just kind of like waiting on them so this kind of thing takes a long time um, especially here for some reason it's like in in guangdong that usually takes me about seven days but here, you know, I've been here for three weeks already and I'm still waiting. And they told me I might have to wait till like August the 10th or something. So it's like four weeks or something crazy, four or five weeks. It's like crazy the amount of time that I need to wait to get my green card back. And then uh, also it's a little bit more, a little bit more strict here in terms of the paperwork. It's like I went to turn in the documents and it's like, oh, but you don't have this and you need this and this. I'm like, well, it's different in Guangdong. You don't need that. And it's like, well, this ain't Guangdong. You know, we have different rules here. So just know that that um, you know the rules are different for every place in China so just because you think you have all the things you need 
you might be wrong, <laughs> like me. In my case, I was missing a few documents, or I don't want to say that I was missing them, but um, it's just more strict here. It's like I had a medical check, like so you have to have a medical check in order to keep your green card and all that. And I had a medical check done in Guangdong about two days before I left to come here. And then I turned in that medical check when I turned in my green card papers, and they looked at it, it's like, what's this? It's like, this is my medical check. And it's like, no, no, we can't accept this. You gotta get a new one, and it has to be from here. So I had to like go get a new medical check here in their city at like a facility that they uh, approve of or whatever. So the medical check I got in Guangdong just a week prior was not useful here. <laughs> So silly things like that, that like, you know, I thought, okay, I need a new medical check. I go get one and it's not useful. I had to go get another one uh, just a week later. So it's kind of annoying, but you know, just, just some of the things you have to deal with when you're living abroad, not a big deal. It just, sometimes you spend some money on this or spend some money on that. And, uh, but actually in my case, I got lucky because I made my old job pay for the medical check so I didn't even have to pay for it it's just kind of the time you know that I wasted to go do it and then I don't have to go do it again so um, anyway this stupid things that kind of irrelevant so now we're back here at home so just back to my house again you can see all the new houses here you can see so many are empty there's nobody's really moving to this area yet but it's really convenient this area I quite like it here so so far, no complaints. And uh, that's my neighborhood. So see y'all on the next video. Take care.